Good evening, and welcome to Off the Glass. I am your host, Tony Anthony Macon, and alongside me is Myron Walker. Back on that ass! Anyway, good evening. Yeah, I'm here. Happy to be here. It's been a long time. YouTube. Mm. Are you finished? Oh, okay, I'm good. Happy to be here. Fuck it. Cool. Yeah, tonight's subject, uh, we got a few things we're going to talk about. Um, you got different topics. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing. There's no solid subject. We're just here, man. Just want to give some love. Haven't seen you guys in a while. Man, fuck all that love. The street's got no love. <laughs> I don't True. know how many times. We got, got love. Always, always got to say that. I ain't got no love. The streets have no love. I <laughs> So what I'm going to give love back for? Well, I'm giving love. Why can't we give love? Fuck a fan. Fuck all that shit. You know why? Because fans... Let's just cut, let's just cut it off now. Fans aren't loyal. What? Fans aren't loyal. They're loyal to the product. No, they're not. Okay. Fan. Well, that's the whole thing. Like you said, they're loyal to the product. But they're not loyal to the product. The product... Matter. If the product at one point in time... It's like LeBron James misses a jumper... A lot of niggas will jump off the bandwagon. No. Yeah, they do. It's not true. Yeah, they do. They they get ready to say fuck him. Fans are fans are the most disloyal people there is. I have supporters. Mm -hmm. I love people that support. Look at you. Fuck with me. I love supporters, man. I will never call you. We don't you do shoutouts on this show, we do salute. I will never call you a fan. I don't like fans, I like supporters. I love supporters. Supporters, because fans supporters don't support well supporters me. do so much more for you. Supporters will donate to your PayPal. Tomato, tomato. Tony dot M A C O N Macon seven at gmail dot com. That's my PayPal. But supporters show you love in the worst of times. You got it. True. To whereas a fan will disband disband. I mean, disbanding you in any point. Any. In, a, well, disabandon. Abandon you. <laughs> you have a <laughs> fair. You time. have a fair weather fan, and you have a fan or fanatic. No, no, no. There's stands. Stands are different. Stands. Oh yeah, a stand will fucking stand by you, no matter fucking no matter what. I like that stand. Yeah, a stand like is that. now. If you got a stand, stand. Yeah, yeah, a stand is a motherfucker because a stand. Will, will will be by your side through thick and thin and oh, will always say that you are the motherfucker. So, to our stands. I don't think we got any stands, but we do have supporters. My wife is a stand. And she's a, she's a fan of the show. And not just because she's my wife. So, yeah, for everybody. With that being said, um... Uh, How's it going, man? Fantastic, man. You doing lift tonight? I am taking a break. Oh, and oh, I'm done because I am consuming this, so no more lift tonight. But I am a professional lift driver. My rating is a 4.9. Just saying, out of five. So, so how do you? How do you? Get, how do? Like who? Who said? <laughs> who didn't like you? <laughs> right, exactly. Right. I had a couple haters. So, <laughs> were know, they haters or was it just that you was? They were not stands, and they gave me a bad uh, rating. Why which, did they give you a bad rating? What like did you four, do? Four because the the navigation. I can't control the navigation, kid. Okay, so the navigation would all screwy. They didn't know where they were going. I didn't know where they were going. So what? So do you put the address in, and what happened? They put the address in. Okay. The passengers put the address in, and I take them there. Okay. And the, the this the network went down this particular night. So the way it's unfair. Similar, what city? It was a combination of Mount Clemens and uh, parts of Detroit. Okay. So where were they coming from? They were coming from Mount Clemens and one to Detroit. So you don't know parts of Detroit. How long have you been living in Detroit? Forty years, sir. Secondly, I don't know Mount Clemens like that. Okay, and no, I don't know okay, the entire. Not I don't. I don't know. Clemens, I don't know the you, entire. What you're saying is you couldn't get back to the freeway to get to Detroit, bro. I'm bro. asking. 
they weren't going to the freeway. They were going to a destination. They don't know where that destination is. So it's different. So if I had to go, let me tell you this. If you had to go to a house in, you know, whatever, East Village, okay, it's in Detroit. There's no freeway around. You have to go through the neighborhoods. Did you know it was a country club? It's a, it's a bunch of country clubs in Detroit. I had no idea that it existed until I became a Lyft driver. So the thing is, if I had to get to this to this country club and go through this dark, long path down this golf course, I would have no idea without my navigation. That's all I'm saying. So it was a situation. So you like don't that. know the city, bro? Did you just not hear what I said? I'm asking you. I'm, what I'm asking you is, I'm asking, I don't know I the entire city like the back of my hand. No, I do not. Question. Okay. I don't just, know. But just, the thing is, you 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 mentioned a landmark like a freeway or I whatever. Actually, you don't know the city. I don't know the entire city like the back of my hand. All right. Cool. I, I, that's cool. Do you know so the entire city? I kind of do. You kind of do. Yeah, like, like you put me of anywhere course. in Detroit, and I will not be lost. Anywhere, I will get a five star rating from my uh, <laughs> passengers in my lift car, lift lift car. <laughs> Whatever, bro. You know what I mean? Whatever, bro. So, Whatever. <laughs> I mean, that's Whatever, all I'm man. saying. Whatever. But, so, okay, I want you. Okay, I want you to tell me how you would get to. I'm not gonna do this on this. We're exactly, not, we're not here. Like, we're not this here. Is man. Not, we're not here. Man. Come on. I'm, anyway, they can Google that. I'm yeah, pretty Google sure it. they have a network in which yeah. it'll work. You know what speaking I mean? Of speaking of, we're not speaking of shit, bro. <laughs> 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 we we're 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 talking, man. Just kick me. Yeah, I'm just kicking it, man. I doubt hey, that listen, shit. I doubt, I doubt you could get anywhere from the city, anywhere. Blah blah. Okay. I, I, I doubt it. Why not? Why you doubt it? Because, you know, one of one of the th- well, one thing is because I bowled all over the fucking uh, state of Michigan. Okay, that's one reason why a lot of places I, I go, I know where I'm at because of the fact that I had to ride over there to that mm-hmm. that way. But like, you know, photo fucking graphic mirror. Mm-hmm. I understand that, but the thing is, if you're going to a specific place that you haven't been before, and the navigation that's supposed to take you there fails. And then not not I saw your control, but then I get marked down because of it. That's just, that's just what well, I'm gonna start talking to my passengers and saying, "Hey, we're gonna get there through hell or high water." Okay. And listen, how was your day, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> Wait for this network to come back up. Boom boom. <laughs> no, but you know, y'all do notice it's y'all fault. <laughs> we're gonna fuck with them a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna you. give them a little bit of fun it's to cool. talk about and have All some good. fun. And then, yeah. I mean, but you know, my my lift game is awesome. So I mean, I, I'm highly rated. Obviously it's, not, but okay, you're not perfect. Just say that you're not perfect. I'm not. I'm not perfect. All right, cool. Not today. Four point nine ass nigga. Four point nine. All right. So, <laughs> what's the difference between four point nine and four point seven? Well, what's the difference between four point nine and five point oh? About fifty grand, like, cocksucker. <laughs> Thirty to forty grand, cocksucker. Like beat it. <laughs> this shit's even got leather, right? <laughs> Jay. <laughs> but yeah, all right, all right. So, so let's let's uh, let's get to talking about uh, some things. Actually, I wanted to start off by saying um, we're actually uh, what eight minutes in already, right? But uh, I wanted to start off the show by saying. Um, Rest in peace, rest in peace, Aretha to the uh, Queen of Soul, yes. Aretha, Fra- Aretha Franklin. Mm-hmm. Um, she passed away just recently, yesterday morning at nine fifty a.m. Well, we don't date the show, so you know if you say yesterday morning, and this show doesn't come on until Monday, <laughs> we never know what they talk about. Anyway, but she passed away. My apologies. Um. And you know, remarkable lady who had a remarkable career. Um, <laughs> she, came, uh, she came into the bank one day. Yeah. <laughs> Quick, to, kicked it with the kick, Queen of Soul. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But um, she have a fur coat on. Oh, was it? This time? was in her. Um, yeah, it was it was hot outside. I got you. So yeah, but she still was out there looking uh, uh, fabulous. Hey. Uh, Titties was out. Whoa! Wait a minute. Uh, Queen of Soul. Respect. Nigga, she always had the fucking titties out. <laughs> what? What? Am I wrong? At this moment in time, she was what? 68? Nigga, she always had the titties out. Okay. Not always. Pull up pictures of... Nigga, she did a performance. Okay. 
on um damn, I wanna say it was like Soul Train uh-huh. or something like that. Uh-huh. It's it's online. <laughs> Nigga, when you look at the uh, online performance, like when you watch this performance, rest in peace. You damn near Titties. see nipples, dog. <laughs> Stop it. No bullshit. No bullshit. This All was right. like, like I saw this video like a few about <laughs> about a month ago, bro. And so it was just how high how it, how did it, it even come up? August. It's just a regular performance, and then you know it just so happens that her mid drift. Nigga, out nigga, low. it was so crazy because like in the comments, people was like. Wait, is her titties out? <laughs> like she had a see-through shirt on, low key. It was a see-through shirt. It was like you saw nipples. Oh my god! But okay. um, great. Rest in peace. Yeah, rest in peace. However, uh, what, what what I actually was going to talk about was the craziness that Fox uh, News did. Fox News posted a picture, uh, saying rest in peace to uh, Aretha Franklin. They had a photo up in which, on the photo, it gave the date in which she was born. And passed. The date she passed. But the photo was of Patti LaBelle. Dang. Not the same person. You know what that reminds me of? That, and that reminds me of, yeah, you got it. They tried to apologize. Come on, man. And their apology... <laughs> they said they took a photo in which <laughs> they cropped. They were supposed to crop a wreath out, and they ended up cropping out. They were supposed to crop out. However, the photo that they put up was nothing, nowhere near no. the photo that looked like it Patty LaBelle. Yeah, it was. It was. It was. It was. Just How dumb. hard would you have to try and find a picture of Patty LaBelle and Aretha Franklin versus? Pictures with just Aretha Franklin. Well, I mean, you gotta understand, man. Most of the people at Fox News have no soul. They and don't know who. They probably didn't know who. The think hell about it. It's a lot Aretha of Franklin was. It's a lot of uh, you know, like generation, uh, you know, whatever, uh, whatever. They're not not even millennials. Maybe they're younger than millennials or something. And they don't know who. No, Aretha no, 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 no. They got a lot of old motherfucking white people at. They have a lot, also, yeah, yeah. They have a lot of people that don't care about Aretha Franklin. Yeah, that's See, what I'm it's saying. It's a it's combination. Not, they don't have a kid. Yeah, no, no, they it's not don't care, but they don't. It's 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 you're people a millennial. Who don't care. I'm not. No, if you look up, if you look up when millennials are I am, born, I am, I am, oh, I'm one year over. No, it's from 1979. It's not. Look it up. I looked it up already. All I right. didn't know about no, it. No, obviously you didn't. I'm on a cusp. I'm not. But anyway, anyway, but. At the same time, we're talking about Fox News and so forth. Donald Trump made a statement in which he said he tried to pay homage to Aretha Franklin, and mm-hmm. he, he made a statement when saying that, uh, "Yeah, she used to work for him. She used to work for him." What? Wait, wait. She appeared at one of his hotels, maybe. She probably. That's why I said she probably did a perform- She probably did a performance for him, but he he made it seem like she used to work for him. This Trump is so an nervous. idiot. An idiot. Exactly. A big idiot. But that reminds me of uh, two Super Bowls ago, Capital One commercial. No, it wasn't a Capital One commercial. There was a commercial. The guy asked, hey, asked Samuel L. Jackson. He was like, yeah, hey, great commercial. Great Super Bowl commercial. And he was like, what are you talking about? He was like, no, you were in the commercial. He was like, no, no, I wasn't. I wasn't in the commercial. And he got Samuel L. Jackson mixed up with, it was either like... Lawrence Fishburne. Lawrence Fishburne. Yeah. Yeah, right? And then he was like, hey, I'm Capital One. What's in your wallet? And then he didn't let he didn't let that go for the rest of the interview. He just gave him the business the rest of the interview. Because How's that the same? It's similar because... You're talking about Patty LaBelle and the shit? Yeah, because okay. they, they got I the think two, I'm talking two about Trump. You said speaking of Trump. I'm just saying, saying, but I didn't get a chance to mention that. But anyway... Still oh, in the same vein because we're talking about Pay the Bill versus oh. Arthur Reed Franklin. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, man, Donald Trump had his, his words uh, on Twitter, you know, which, which we need him to stay off of. But speaking of which shit he said happen. on Twitter, Donald Trump also uh, spoke about Amarosa recently because Amarosa is on this tirade. So this, actually, I, I, I guess because this, this this might be a segment of his own. Mm-hmm. Omarosa is exposing the White House right now, the Trump regime. Hey, she on their ass. 
She wrote a book. I didn't read mm -hmm. the book yet. I didn't mm -hmm. touch it yet. Right, right. But it almost seems like Omarosa wants back into the good graces of black people. Um, Omarosa is shooting shots of what was going on mm -hmm. during uh, her time of being under the uh, 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 the administration, the Trump administration. Mm -hmm. um, in which she was calling them racist, him, others. Uh, she talked about the situation with, uh, what's her name, Betsy DeVos, mm. in which uh, when she was at... Um, when she was at um, um, Generation X, born 1965-1980. And then Millennials, 1981. 1981. I'm not 1981, bruh. So, yeah. Oh, we Why were... you trying to show some shit <laughs> I, off, nigga? I, I... Fall back, nigga. You fall back. <laughs> you fall back. I mean, I, I I tried to tell you, and you just Hold on. went ahead and went to go look I up did. some shit. No, I, I read multiple things. Oh, you read multiple... X. Look at that. You read. Look at that. Zennials. Zennials. Look at that. That's that's you. That's Zennials. Zennials is something else too, dog. It's, it's, I, let me, let me, it's right. Generation X mixed with a minio. No. I, I, listen, they, that was some shit they just wanted to come up with. When you already had Omarosa, that was supposed to be some shit off when camera. You already had Gen X. And, anyway, but that was supposed it. to be off camera. We're talking about, we're talking about, we're talking about Omarosa. You brought up some shit to tell me and I already told you what was <laughs> up. Yet you want to test me. Nigga. Nigga. Millennials. I'm a motherfucker. I'm a Negro. 1980. You were born in 1980. That's Gen X. You just brought up a new Millennials, shit. Gen Y. Look what you did. Look Gen what you X. just did. Do what you did. Do what you did. <laughs> Go back to what you originally brought up, bro. Just let it be. Just let it be. <laughs> just let it be. I be knowing my shit, bro. Ah. Like, I, I, like, if I say some shit. Ah. Ah. And no, honestly. Ah. Honestly. Ah. Mm -mm. Nope. Don't say it. I say when I state something, there's two different things. Thank you. I do opinions and I do and I state shit. Yeah. When I state certain right. shit, I Got state it. it as a fact. Hey, bro, bro, bro. Then there's Omarosa. opinions. When Omarosa. I give opinions, Omarosa. you know I'm giving an opinion. What's your opinion on Amorosa? <laughs> We're not going to Amorosa so fast. We're still laying out everything about what how she said the whole Bessie the Boss thing. Bessie the Boss when she was at uh, what school was that? Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, well, she, she was at the school speaking and whatnot. Right. It was all black. Uh, uh, college. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, apparently she made some statements that made Amarosa say, you know, basically, Bessie the Ball spoke in a racist way of saying the kids didn't understand her. That's mm. why they were acting the way they were acting. Because mm. remember, she got booed. Mm. But she also said race. Uh, 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 Trump has said the N-word and so forth. Well, Trump fired back. And he said, um, I, uh, what the fuck did he call her? Called her. What do I like? He said, "What was the statement exactly? I can't remember. All I know was it ended with calling her a dog." Bro, said she's a low life, low life. Okay, for coming at him like that after all he's done for her, and someone should get rid of the dog or something like that. Yeah. Now when he called her a dog, I was like, she, he's basically calling her a black bitch in so many words. You could take it that way, because he's going he's going to dumb it down because he's trying to. Mm -hmm. Try his mm -hmm. best to, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, to not I mean, overgo, not overgo overboard even in his own Trump way. But anytime you refer to a woman as a dog, right? Because it's you gonna be a female with? dog. I mean, there you go. But uh, all right. So so, here's the deal. Here's here's the thoughts. Uh, I actually wanted to just pose this question. Mm -hmm. Are we fucking with Amarosa? Amarosa right now. Amarosa. Has gotten fired mm -hmm. from the White House. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's talking that hot shit about Trump. Right. Are we fucking with her right now? Nope. She infiltrated the Trump regime and she's exposing them right mm -hmm. now. I'm not going to give her infiltration. Is she not a, uh, maybe she was just playing the spy role? No. Nope. Nope. She's an opportunist. She's always been an opportunist. I'm not mad at her for that. And if you look at past episodes of Off the Glass slash Beef Stew Show, we've covered Amarosa. And the thing is, what is her motivation? Book deal? 
she was a part of the Bill Clinton administration, so she had some experience on how dirty the White House could go. So she went in here with a mindset, and she knows she's known Trump since when? 2000, 2003, some crazy like like this. So she went in there, and she she knew from day one that she was going to tape every conversation because this is not her first go around at the White House. White House. This is not her first go around with scandal. Okay. So so the thing is, Omarosa is the type of person who. She doesn't let everybody know that she went to a historically black college until it's good for her in PR, okay? You ask, most people, they think she goes to an Ivy League school. She went there for, for graduate. She didn't go for undergrad. Second, why did she decide to do this right now? Why didn't she do this before Trump got elected? A lot of the, She had a lot of ammunition before he got elected. Why didn't she do it then? No. Well, you, well, you got to get as much information as possible. I understand. I'm Whatever. Saying. I mean, because so, like you know, I mean, the same I understand. Time, she took she, the, she took the opportunity to work in the White House. Now she's taking the opportunity once she's fired she could still be there, to, you know, to fired. push her book and what and put herself in the spotlight. And she was underhanded. She she went in there planning to tape all so these you conversations. Would give no no forgiveness to her. That's what you're saying. I'm saying. I'm saying I like the fact that she's blowing up things that need to come to light. I like the fact. I like the fact that she's an amazingly articulate individual, super educated, polished. I like that. So we okay. don't need someone like that on our side. We do need like someone like that on our side. But where was she at the last two years when she was in the White House and she had the position to to cater to not just black people to people and make a change? Where was she at when it, she didn't take the opportunity then? But now since she's fired, she's taking the opportunity to promote her book. And she's using these tapes as ammunition to blow up bridges that she had, even though they was with scandalous people. So I'm not mad at that, okay? But she's an opportunist. But what she's, I'm not, I'm not, what she's doing right now is still beneficial for a lot of people. Yeah, people what's the motivation, general. though? I mean... What's the motivation? I don't care what your motivation is. You don't is. care what the motivation is. still what your results is it, are. Is it that... So let me tell you why this... Let me tell you why I care about the motivation, right? Because... I believe that if Omarosa had the opportunity to do something that could really help a bunch of people from this action, from this whole circus that she is a part of, or get a huge payday, what would she do? What would she do? What would be what would be her but priority? She's actually, is it is she's it uh, kind of doing both right now? She's kind of doing both, but but what is her? priority she's not a hero but i mean a lot of people she's not have, anything a lot like of that. people have certain priorities i mean at the end of the day 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 a great teacher no matter mm. what they're doing mm. they may be teaching right. and teaching mm. the best thing possible to someone okay however they're still getting paid for it and the yes. fact that they're doing it for money is what? still at the end no, of the no, day no 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 no, no. They're still a great teacher. A great teacher. A great teacher. They're still a great teacher. A great teacher has I mean, we a love have, for her we kids. Have she just so millions, happens to get paid. But we still have millions and millions. Because like, I mean, at the end of the day, we have pimps in the pool pit that True. no one ever exposes. That's more along, that's more along the lines that, that I will put Omarosa in because she's 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 she's, she's She's playing herself as someone who is a whistleblower. But yes, you're blowing this whistle. But at what? But what why time? Not get paid when did you? When did you? Why are you blowing the whistle now? I'm not saying. What I'm saying is, I'm not saying like everyone should get behind her and say, "Okay, oh yes, okay, you're the leader of the black black movement." Okay. What I'm saying is, should we not? Should we? At the same time, everybody deserves a second say, chance. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Everybody right? has a second chance. Everybody deserves stands. Because I mean, at the end okay, of the day, so we stand with Omarosa. I stand with Omarosa all the time, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to put her up on a pedestal or anything like that. She's a straight opportunist. She's good at what she does. I'm saying, at the end of the she day, she was very smart on re- getting all those recordings. At the end of the day, a lot of people will sell She's out trying to sell less. a book. So I don't True. like a lot of people will sell off True. less. True. True. Like. As like me, I'll sell out for less. No bullshit. I mean, what? I mean, you'll never be able to say, "Oh, Tony and sold out, right. nigga." I will sell out in a minute, what? in a heartbeat. What for? 
for a sack of ten. With I had a talk. I had a, t- no, no, I had a talk with. Uh, I had a talk with Monte recently. We were talking about our our time at you know nine ten a.m. Superstation, and we were talking about um, we were talking about Mayor Duggan and. My car insurance is still high, man. Actually, Duggan. we were talking about Mayor Duggan and the governor. Well, Mayor Duggan can't do shit about your car insurance. I'm just saying. I'm just telling him. I'm just telling him. I, it's been proven that no one can really do shit about it unless no. you... No. Like, as far as, like, there's a lot of, there's a lot of like, government, uh, as yeah. far as legis- legislation in Michigan has to make those changes for I real. Got you. I got you. But at the end of the day, we were, we were discussing... We were, we were discussing the governor. Mm-hmm. And we were talking about David Alexander Bullock fucking with uh, Sharif Tanadar. <laughs> and uh, who, who, who brought himself from a janitor to now he's running for governor. Right. Whatever. And so, they, you know, they were make, we were making, we were making, discuss, we were talking discussion about how Sharif did this, that, and the third about, you know, as far as why Bullock was fucking with him, mm-hmm. the allegations of Bullock getting paid prior to leaving 9, 10 a.m., mm-hmm. and all this other shit. And I told him, I said, nigga, I was like, I was like, you know the funny thing about all that shit when people have opinions about dumb shit? Mm-hmm. If you get in front of it, ain't shit they can say. I was like, nigga, during the time when we true. were at 9, 10 a.m., I was like, had Mayor Duggan fucking came to me and said, yeah. campaign for me on 9, 10 a.m., and he threw me a fucking check, Guess what? Wow. If the amount was right, I'd have campaigned for him. Hey, real quick question. Now, real reason question. being, though. Reason quick, being, okay. though. I got a question after this reason being. Reason being is, mm-hmm. um, one, okay. there was no worthy candidate going against him. Uh-huh. Uh, two, Coleman Young Jr. That nigga was Laughter. Like, joke. Go ahead. Continue. Anyway. Continue. Um, but at the same time, Real talk. Mm-hmm. If you look at what's going on in Detroit right now, right, it's almost the place to be. It's the come up right now. Mm, you buy, true. you buy homes in the right spots. A lot of places Royal have. Oak. No, not Royal Oak. That's Royal Oak. No, I'm talking about Detroit. I know. Well, I'm being facetious because the yeah, property, well, you're the not, property, you're, no, no, the no, property value I hasn't gone you. up in Detroit. Yes, it has. Not like it has in any other city. Nigga, Marshall bought a crib for eleven thousand dollars. Yes. In De- on Dexter and Davis in the area, right? Right. It's worth sixty thousand dollars right now. Bro. Ugh. Hey, 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 hey. Listen. What? Listen. What? what? That same house. The other Wait, homes two on seconds. the block. The, the other homes yo. on the block. Right. Because it's yeah. near mm-hmm. the Boston Edison area. Right. Those homes mm-hmm. have increased. Great. They've increased. What I'm saying is, you put that same house in Royal Oak, it's worth two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, not sixty thousand dollars. And all I'm saying is, but if it was, all I'm saying is, is not, this, yo, all I'm saying is, this, because you nigga, you're cutting me off. I, all I'm saying is this. You're not saying that. All I'm saying is, <laughs> why is it that Detroit is not as good as Little Royal Oak? Because we have the same ingredients. You have to understand. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Let me get my shit out. But that's all I'm saying. But you, you mad? I'm not mad. I'm just saying. I'm making an observation. Detroit had a fall off. Why did it have a fall off? A lot of things. A lot of reasons. A lot of reasons. A lot of government was run of it, right? A lot of reasons. The mayor office. A lot of reasons. The governor's office. Okay, well, guess who's in office now, and it's going differently. Is it? It is, nigga. I just told you it went up. Is it going differently? I told you property is going up. Property is going up. Yes. Okay. So. (laughs) <laughs> when was the last time you checked your home, homie? I did. I, okay. Over, every day, I check right, my cool. joint. You're just in the wrong area. No, I'm off Eight Mile. Okay, okay? I'm off Eight Mile. I'm, 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 I'm here. It hasn't stretched towards that area yet, bro. You, you might be wrong. But the thing is, uh, you're closer. It's to, going up. You're I'm, not, I'm not saying that. I'm not. What I'm speaking to is, it's not going up fast. It's not going up How fast, fast enough. How fast do you want to go? Faster than it is. If I told you. This so nigga bought a crib three years ago for eleven thousand dollars, and it's sixty thousand now. Is that not fast enough? Look, I doubt the sixty thousand. First off, and the nigga looked it up. Actually, the house I actually looked up the house that was across the street from that was selling for one hundred and twenty thousand. I'm not disputing the fact that prior Look, to you're not hearing me. There was only forty thousand. You're not hearing me. 
I'm, you're not hearing I'm me. I'm giving you stats. You're not hearing me. I'm giving you the statistics Look, of the amount. You, and this is what I'm saying to you. You're up here acting like a mouse with a little piece of cheese. And you geeked about that. No. All nigga, I'm saying is. All is, I'm saying is. You mad. Is yo, this. You mad. Because you're not listening. What you saying? With Detroit should be. It should be the other way around. Why? Why be- should it? Why because should we're it? off the if wire. You, if you, if every home went abandoned, if you went from a, if you, if every home Let's is unrented, you know, if you're looking at listening. abandoned it's the homes, problem right here. But you're looking at abandoned homes listen, on every he block. He don't want to listen. He not listening. But you're to looking me. at abandoned homes on every block. How Why the fuck is that? Could... That's what I'm trying to talk to. That's what I'm trying to talk about. All right. About. So what you tell him? That's the tell root me, cause. Tell I'm trying to tell you. Shut the fuck up, nigga. Why all I'm saying is, mad. as I'm what saying, damn, I'm trying to talk. So all I'm saying is this, Detroiters, don't get excited because it moved up slightly. Don't get excited because of that. Because the thing is, if you're a family and you live in Detroit, you don't have a school, still you don't have a school. And the thing is, that's when we'll get real property value, when we have a school system that we can go to. Now, once we have a school system, then maybe we'll have more families and then maybe we'll have not as many abandoned houses. See, what you're not paying attention to is all that shit is happening. The is roads it? are actually being fixed. All that shit is happening, yeah. bro. Yes. Is Where have you been? What school? You, what school? Oh, are you just still staying in your area? See, that's the thing. That's why you don't know Detroit. East Village. You don't know Detroit. East Village, Detroit Edison, Cass, Renaissance, Martin Luther King. Give me anything else. What you want me to give? Give me you any me? school. Any school. What you want me to give you schools? I mean, schools all over. That's because that's... No, 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 no. I said... Schools that are high performing. That's what I'm saying. Do you know that all that? Li- listen, listen. All that is going to change. Are you going to change. That? That's that's but going that's a part to change. Of, but that's a part of everything. Going to change. That's a part of everything. That's what I'm saying. That has to be. That's not the priority. That's not. Downtown is a priority, mm-hmm. right? Midtown priority. I'm okay with that. No, actually, you, they were the starts. Start. Yeah. Okay. What I'm saying is this. Okay. Yes, it's going up. I'm not. I'm not jumping up and joy, jumping up for joy because obviously you don't go through most of these neighborhoods. Obviously, you don't know. You haven't paid taxes on a crib that you can't even get. You know, we just started getting bulk pickup consistently last summer, summer before last. And, it, and how, you asked me early in the show how long I've been in Detroit. Long, 40 long, years. 40. 40 years. 40 years. No, how long have you been in the area that you purchased? 12. Okay. 12 so, years. So if, like, okay, so prior to that you weren't getting up, but now you're getting some? I mean, I, I'm asking, like, is that not an improvement? You tell me, you tell me. Is what, that not an improvement? I'm, look, I'm not downing Detroit. You obviously are, I, because you, no, I'm you not. think... That you think overnight? No, you're geek because no, you think overnight it's supposed to be Royal Oak prices. It's not. It's I'm not. not saying that. I'm saying why? This, because see, this is the problem. You're not listening. I said why can't Detroit use the same formula and be better than Royal Oak because we have more people. Because it's bigger. We have. Okay. Let me say what this. Mean? Let me say this. I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna lead this. There are three schools in Royal Oak. Three. Okay. Well, not only three, but two middle schools and one high school, right? Detroit has all of these schools that were mismanaged. What I'm saying is the government, the guy you were just mentioning, Duggan and Sharif and all that, it's very important because they're the one, they're the they're one of the main stumbling blocks of why we're here now. Why we're here now in Detroit, because it was mismanaged. That's all I'm saying. So we were our growth was stunted by mismanagement. That's all I'm saying. Okay. And you're not hearing I'm that. not saying it was And then the thing is, and then in terms of his 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 property taxes but going he up mismanage? to sixty thousand dollars, he came up great. But you know what? Marshall should have came up. It should have been a hundred thousand, at least a hundred thousand. It should have been one hundred and twenty. Not overnight. In three years, three years ago, you could have got a crib in Royal Oak for sixty, seventy, but you keep, eighty you, grand. You're comparing. I'm it just to saying, Royal Oak. not Royal Oak. Royal I mean, Oak, like, Huntington Woods, okay. Southfield, but West you know Bloomfield, uh, West Harper uh-huh. Woods, okay, all right, West all right. Bloomfield, cool. everything around Detroit. All right, cool. So, all right, so, all right. There you go. All right, so, so during the time, we can even go further back. During the time Coleman A. Young was in office, right? A home in West Bloomfield was still more than a home in fucking uh, Detroit, right? Depends on what part of Detroit. 
what I, what I'm saying is, why do you keep comparing a suburban area, in which they're already going to be higher, to a city area? When a it's city not area, true. when a city area, because you could have went downtown, city, you could have went downtown, you could have went to you in a went city in which, if you go back that many years. Has not done shit. I was Hasn't talking about. I was talking about recently. I'm talking about recently. What I'm, I'm talking about. about what I'm, and I'm saying. What I'm saying is you, recently. Okay. If you if recently shit is actually increased. I'm not disputing that. You were. You were like. Don't I get said, geeked about. I was like, it. don't get like, geeked about it. But why not? Because it's not moving like it should. Why is how, that? But how fast? Let me do you tell you why. Move? Let me tell you why it should move faster than it is. How? If we concentrated on who is we. Detroiters. Okay. But Detroiters have moved out. Detroiters have gone to the Westland. Detroiters have gone to Southfield. Detroiters have abandoned Detroit, and that's why Detroit ended up the way it ended. Why did they do that? Why did they and do that? And that's not the reason why. Why did they do it? That's you tell part me, of why it. did they do it? That was an effect. Of, what was the effect? Because I, I was going to move out of Detroit because... Again, I'll say it very quickly. I ain't had no school to take my daughter. But a to. lot of people. Two seconds. You people, just asked me a question, right? A lot of right? people did that prior to schools falling down. No, they didn't. Hell yeah. They I mean, did. yeah, no, no, no. I mean, they did, but it wasn't just. When they, I graduated, they, want to move, they want to move. They want to move out of the neighborhood where you know they want to feel safe. They want to go okay. and move. Right. So it's not the school. Who's for who? Whose job is it to keep keep neighborhood safe? Who, who, whose job is it? Mayors. What? Okay. Right? And who right. are we talking about? Okay, so so do you tell me when did everybody start moving to Southfield, Westland, and everywhere else? So if you if you, you go many me. if you go many years back, okay, okay, you, you got the me. riot, you got the riot, you got the great white flight from the city okay. to the suburbs. That I'm was tell you that what's was going straight. on right now. That was that was white number one. People are moving in right now. That's why all that shit is getting better. Thinking coming back to my point that you always cut me off from, all I'm saying is this. Why is it that the property taxes are going slower? Is it a grand scheme? Is it so that this property could be purchased at a cheaper price and they are purposely slowing our schools down? Purposely just not giving us what we need in the neighborhood so the prices can stay at an affordable price? And now, the thing is now, why aren't we trying our best to buy as many properties as possible? But I love my Caucasian, Indian, Mexican folks in the neighborhood because you can't make a fabulous entree with one ingredient. Yeah, you can. No, you can't. Yeah, you unless can. it's grilled chicken. No, you can't. No, no, no. You can. You can make a... I can make, what, a salad? You've with never, just lettuce? You've never heard. One you ingredient. Never, if you go to Oak Park and you talk and you, and you ask... What can you make with one the ingredient? The Jewish community... If you ask that Jewish community in that area, do they need other motherfuckers over there? Guess what they gonna say? Yeah, we don't. We're good. We're cool. We have one ingredient, and that ingredient has made a community. We're cool. We don't need no other ingredients in this motherfucker. We all right. Is it only Jewish people in Oak Park? Most of it. Yeah. Only saying, Jewish people I'm in saying, Southfield. Like, their areas. Actually, actually, I tried to get an apartment in one spot one time before, and I laughed because. They didn't say it directly, but when I looked at who was all in that complex, I said, that's why they don't have anything available. Because it's a Jewish no I'm not apartment that. building. Whatever. Oh, maybe, shit. maybe, maybe no cool. Shit. All I'm talking about, I'm talking about Detroit, bro. I'm talking about Detroit. I'm just saying, I'm, why in is it? Why you can make one community be one? You can't let I'm not disputing that. All I'm saying is, let me say this. If Black Detroit, Wall Street, nigga, why would? What happened to Black Wall Street? What happened? what happened to it? What happened to it? White people fucking shut it down. Shut it down. Right? So so Detroit. So if wrong, we take, what was it not thriving prior to that? Yes. That's hate that took that out. Okay. Not 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 the fact that it needed anything. I didn't else. say I didn't say I didn't say. Yo, I didn't you say, said you can't do it without. Yes, you can. Yes, I you said, can. I said you can't make a beautiful entree with one ingredient. Yes, you can. That was where, a beautiful where it's entree. At? Where is that? That's a beautiful entree. Where's that? You can't you, listen. Black Wall Street. If hate is gonna take your entree out, that's hate. Hate, hate is hate. Hate is hate. Hate is hate. Yeah. I'm not disputing that. What you're not, what, and you know what? I'm, I'm done. I really didn't even want to go through this. I didn't want to talk about this. All I'm just saying is, 
Don't get super excited because it's a slight uptick so, in the neighborhood. Two to three years from now, when because like because like it's not a slight. It's a lot of it's a lot of great homes right now. It is. That if you don't act on them, you're gonna lose out. Uh, shit, actually, that was that was years ago. Shit, now now they coming up. They are coming up a little bit, but it, don't get it. It's it not a little more. bit. It's it's homes that like a little bit to you is what? What's a little bit? Nigga, <laughs> 40, 40, 40 to fifty thousand dollars is not a little bit. In three years, hell, that's not a little bit. It's bro. not. It's not. It's, it's not, not a little bit. It's not the same. Let me say this. Let me let me say this. Let me say this, bro. Damn, you're angry. I dog. mean, fuck, cause you can't. You, you I didn't, didn't say. say it. No, I didn't I'm even done. say I'm that. I'm not saying shit else. I'm not saying shit else. I'm done. You I'm done, done, bro. I'm good. Go ahead. You only had a half a beer. Oh, I'm straight. No, it's not you even that. It's like beer, nigga, nigga, like you ask a question. You cut me off. I didn't even say anything. Damn. You just said, Look at this, Shut the fuck up. What I'm saying, nigga, is. Listen, man. <laughs> I'm done, man. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, be It's done, your show, nigga. dog. Go ahead. <laughs> this nigga's angry. I'm not angry. I'm Off done. A beer. I can't. I'm not, I'm not even buzzing, bro. I'm drinking a beer because of the show. I don't even drink. I'm just saying, the thing is. That's why you're angry. No, I'm just saying, it's like, don't ask me shit if you don't want me to answer. That's all I'm saying. I'm done. Go ahead. This nigga's angry. I'm not angry. Go ahead, bro. Off a of beer. I'm going to go ahead and say something if it's cool after you finish your point. Go this ahead. This nigga's angry. I'm not angry. Oh. Okay, since you bullshitting, this is what oh, I'm going to say. I'm not angry, dog. It's like, you don't understand the flow of shit. Oh. Let me say shit. You say shit. Beer. Talk, talk, talk. Come on, beer. man. Fuck it, man. Nigga, I what let you, you talk shit? like. Man, eat a dick. Fuck you, man. It's straight. Eat a dick, man. This nigga said... Fuck you. Fuck you. Yes. This is bad disrespectful right now. No, I'm not. Because he's angry. I'm just saying. You're angry. I'm not. You are. I'm not, dog. <laughs> like, what's I'm not your tie, dog? I'm straight, like, man. This, this is me. You got to let some air out, nigga. Nigga. I'm straight. Go ahead. A beer? What did you I'm not that? mad, bro. It's like, look. Look. This is stupid, dog. Stop the recording, man. It's stupid. It's stupid what you're saying. I'm trying to give you. You ask me a question, I answer it. You you overdoing it, man. I'm overdoing it's fuck, it. It's fuck. The episode's done. I'm out of here, bro. This nigga on some bullshit. It's like I'm still here. But all I'm saying is, y'all see this shit. He asked me a question. I try to answer. He's like, no, no, no. You ain't. Blah, 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 blah. I didn't even say that, dog. And you just went like angered, dog. I was just like, I just sat here like this. I moved up, and he was like. Let me say something. I'm like, what well, you, you No, when you, you watch it, it, when you watch it, and you see what you I did, didn't say that. I just said I was just saying that. Like, I something. moved, I moved forward, and then you was like, just let me say something. I'm like, well, nigga, you moved forward I and said, say disregard this nigga. I didn't. I just moved forward like this. Whatever. I was listening. Nigga, you see my? I did. Like, go ahead, go ahead, talk, man. If you your fault, whatever. <laughs> what, you, what you gonna say? <laughs> Real quick, before he interrupt me, all I'm saying is. He said hate. Hate is an, an ingredient. What I am trying to say, don't get so excited because it is an uptick. Yes, going from 11000 to $60,000 in three years, great. Awesome. It okay. might be a, up, up and going, too. It might be counting. Still great. Going. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, it's going up because people are buying properties in Detroit and they're buying properties in Detroit for two reasons right because they don't feel like they a couple reasons but the thing is it's not it's not it's not families moving in it's it's a few families it's young people who are young professional happy to see you guys welcome to Detroit and you guys work downtown cool great they're moving here because it's cheaper awesome okay but the reason why the property taxes I should say the property values went way down is because they they eradicated all the school system, which was in a surplus in 1999. They had all the money they needed. Then all of a sudden, we had to get an emergency manager. All of a sudden, schools went to shit. And then that is the quickest way to kill a neighborhood if they're, the schools are terrible. So now, now, fast forward to 2018, we have people coming in. The, the property value is finally coming back up. Because for the last, since 2008, when everything went down, Detroit's the last inner city. You go to any other city, let's go to Chicago. Is it? I don't know. Shit, I don't know. Is it the same? Probably. Okay. But I say everything to say, and I appreciate you giving me the time 
Like no, you had brother. 20 minutes before, but I, I didn't say ahead. I didn't say 20. Yeah, it yeah, 20 I did. I, w- I sat here. I didn't say nothing for a good five That's not 10 true, minutes. Dog. No, you it's, ain't it's, never sat there. It was a five minute two. block where I sat like this. No, you didn't. And I was just like, That's the first time you said like. I that. was watching the time and I was just like, Okay, he gonna keep talking. He gonna keep talking. And then when I said something, you still got. Let me finish. I'm like, damn, nigga, you talk like five minutes. I ain't never talked five minutes. You did, bro. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna send it to you on your on your phone. I'm straight, man. I lived it. What I'm saying is though, is deal. Alright. So benign neglect. Benign neglect is the reason why niggas didn't give a fuck. They they they, they neglected the city heavily. True. So during that time of neglect, it's like you, you, you do benign neglect or well, governor government does benign neglect to negate they they want everyone to say, Okay, fuck it, we go leave. Now, some people left just because they felt like they were going to get a better living in other cities or whatnot. But then you had also other people who left just because of the fact that, you know, hey, listen, crime is going on in this area. I can get a better living. Plain and simple. Then there's people who just stuck here, who couldn't move. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, if you live on a block where... Half the block is abandoned. You feel like your property is dying. You go leave. It happens. Here's the fucked up thing. Some people still own property. With them owning that property, they just didn't take care of it. They didn't give a fuck about it. You're stuck at a point of you're trying to figure out what are your politicians going to do for the city. We have been in limbo in the city of Detroit for a very long time in which it was just nothing going on. Like, you wanted people to do something about this area or that area, but it just wasn't happening. My whole thing was this. Mayor Duggan came in. I didn't believe in the nigga. I'm about to say, you was not a fan of Never been a fan. I'm still not a fan of the nigga. What I'm saying is, I can only go by what I'm seeing now. Mm-hmm. So I've never been a fan of Mayor Duggan. Mm-hmm. Never at all. Right. But I see improvement. I can't front and say that, like, they're not improving certain areas. Auto Drive was fucked up. Yet, Auto Drive is being paved over now. Mm-hmm. It's, t- it's taking them a thousand years. Auto Drive and messed up like, I don't know, there's eight a, months. There's a, there's a, well, that's what I'm saying, I'm though. I'm saying. He got reelected, and it started to happen. I'm not saying, like, it wasn't like the nigga got re Like, it wasn't like he was... Like okay, did he, he did it prior did you, to re-election. Did you, did you vote for him? I didn't have a didn't uh, I didn't him. have a Detroit address. You didn't have to Detroit. Vote. Yeah. So with that being yes, said, ever. So with that being said, I voted for him. Okay, there you go. But you hating on the nigga? I'm not hating on him. Okay, I'll calm, keep it real. Calm down, calm down. You hating? But um, but like I said, so I'm seeing certain shit happen that just wasn't happening before all I'm saying is Man. if I see a road start all of a sudden being fixed if I see home prices going up if I see businesses all of a sudden starting to come about yeah they might be white right I'm not mad at my Caucasian brothers moving into the neighborhood I, already said I mean I, I hear you but at the same time I don't think black people was getting the heavy opportunity like that but to what to get businesses like that to, to get like, businesses yeah yeah and Anybody who wanted to do business in Detroit was it was hard to do because of you mentioned Coleman Young, Kwame, Archer. Everybody made it hard to do business in the city. For black people especially, but white folks, Chaldean folks, Asian folks, it was hard to do business in the city. And that was one of that was one of the, the root causes. Okay, so but I don't want to take too much time. Now, now you got Chemical Bank moving downtown. They got like three branches. 
when they was Tom, got more. When they was Tom and their headquarters is going that. downtown. Yeah, so what? I mean, that's what great. I mean, that's true. That's what great. I'm, saying I'm not saying is, it's not. I'm not saying it's not good. You have a great. downtown that's starting to mirror Chicago's true. downtown. You have certain. Is it a, is you it have a, certain areas. Is it that the homes are getting better true. and there are more people moving into the neighborhoods? True. So what I'm saying is, yep. Yes, I'm seeing a better Detroit than what it was. Under three previous African American mayors, four to five years ago, six years ago, mm. I'm not saying it was just under the previous mayors. I'm just saying the current mayor right now. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, mm-hmm. no matter what color he is, it's, it's just what it is. You're seeing a better Detroit. When Mayor Duggan was campaigning, I said he has experience with fiscally, uh, should say, financially distressed entities dmc financially distressed he was able to go in things like that no matter what however he did it it, they came out on the other side okay so that's what i said i wanted somebody i wanted somebody that could do that right so that's why i voted for him twice okay let me say that everybody on this show can't say that okay second why would i want to i don't care i mean like that whatever that's that's cool with you you can say you voted for him twice yeah who'd you vote for I, I lived in Southfield. I lived in certain areas where I didn't have the address to vote for him. So I'm sorry. Who would you vote for for governor? For governor? Just recently? Anytime. I gave no fucks recently. Got it. So yeah. secondly, so, so anyway, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm gonna, let, me, let me continue real quick. What, what, was, my, quick what was my vote going to do? Could have did more than not voting. That's what, what I'm saying. What was going to do? Could have been, it could have been, uh, even if it. I was going to vote for Syed. He wouldn't, he still wouldn't have won. So okay. Like, but you, he would have had one more vote than he did. That's he all did. I'm saying. He did. So, no. All right, whatever. So, all I'm saying is if that's that's an issue too. It's not an issue. Most if you got it you had you, three candidates on the Democrat side that gave zero fucks about the shit that needed to be done. Zero fucks. Give me 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 reasons who you vote for. Tell me why you vote for. Wait, okay, so I already told the man the mayor or the uh, the mayor or okay. No, I, I want to know the governor. For. Okay, so the governor I voted for Anybody who was not Schneider, that's who I voted for. I don't even remember the guy's name. He was Democrat. I don't remember. So you but just I, voted? Just the no, 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 no. Me? At the time, at the time, I can't remember. Stand- oh, 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 hey, it was, it was standard, all right, nigga. No, no, no. <laughs> who was it? It was it was Schneider as and Dual Syed. No, I'm no. talking about recently. You didn't vote recently? Oh, 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 recently? No, I didn't vote recently. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't vote. I didn't have a candidate right. I didn't like. I didn't like Shahir. I didn't. I didn't like. Definitely like Snyder. I didn't like. Well, Snyder wasn't running, bro. Okay, I didn't. I didn't like him. I don't give a fuck. I didn't like his ass. Okay, I didn't. Shooty, like, Shooty was the Republican. That Shooty, was I didn't like. I don't like Shooty. I don't like Shit. I didn't like none of them. So I didn't vote. No, Whit, I didn't vote. Uh, Gretchen. Uh, nope. Whitmere. Nope. No. Nah. Nope. I think she out here overdoing it. Out here sucking and driving. This. I don't like none of them. So. So. No. So. Uh, uh, does it, hmm. I, well, I, I'm gonna just tell you what happened right there was here's what happened. <laughs> the last thirty minutes of our argument, he completely just just offed himself. Yeah, I did. I, I didn't vote. I didn't. This is the first election where I didn't vote for governor. I didn't. I didn't vote this this election. I didn't. But I don't even know. I'd be arguing with this nigga, man. I should just let him just like let. No, him but the it. thing is, no. But the thing is, you can't. You can't. You can't. For I mean, like for that. You, I mean, I'm saying I, I didn't. It wasn't that. like I would have. Here's, I just here's why I, I didn't. You. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. She was like, you was going somewhere with it, and I was like, damn, this nigga trying to come at me, and then he just said, Ugh. yeah, I know. Ugh. But <laughs> but uh, I voted. I voted. I voted every other time. Started talking about years years ago. I did. I, I voted every time except this is the first time I didn't vote for governor Good in game. forty. It was well, not in forty years. In twenty two years Good of game. voting. Good game. No, that's not a good game to do. What? That don't mean anything. Like, if so, you voted zero <laughs> times in the last twenty-two years. No, no, I, voted I, just every said, time. I just said recently. I was talking about the, no, the primary. No, no, no. You didn't vote for the president last president election either. Yeah, I did. How you gonna tell me I didn't vote? Because you said it on air. No, I didn't. Never said that. I said I voted for Hillary. I said I was mad. I, I said I was. I said I voted just because. I said just I voted I voted against Trump. My bad, because you for the longest time you were saying that you No, I said I said it didn't matter. I for the longest time I said it didn't matter. I've talked about how the vote vote didn't matter, but I was like, I succumb I just gave in. I said fuck it and I went to the polls and I voted. Mm -hmm. Only reason why I voted for president was because I was there to vote for other shit. Mm -hmm. 
But no, I gave no fucks about who was going to be president because I knew neither one of them had our best interests at heart. However, However. I still, and you can you can look up the record. The record goes show I vote I voted for fucking Hillary. Uh, I, I Even though I didn't up, care, it's, it's anonymous. You can't. You can't. No, look you can't look. You can look. You can look to see if anybody voted. You can't. You can't look and see who I voted for, bro. Well, not voted for, exactly. but you can see. You can. You can look to see if a person voted. Yeah. Huh. So, you so voted I mean, for Trump. if I did, it wouldn't matter. It wouldn't. It wouldn't have mattered. Look, man, this show went completely sideways. Because uh, you was angry. I didn't. You're still angry. Look no, I mean, you, it's just like it's, it's folded. I'm chilling, man. I'm trying to chill. It's like it's it's. It's hard. I I haven't done it in a while. I haven't done a show with this guy in a while, and I forgot how hard it is to like have a conversation with this guy. Well, one, you know what I'm saying. I understand too. It, like a conversation doesn't consist of one person talking forever. I can't tell. But I'm gonna tell you, man. I'm gonna send you to you. I'm gonna sit. I'm a black. I'm, Whatever, I'm sitting there like this, and I was like, "Wrap the show up, nigga talking. Fuck, we've been on this here nigga talking. Already. This nigga talking." Whatever. And Look just, at it. Send it to me, bro. Send it to me. I'm gonna send it to you. Send it to me. It might be about 20 minutes. There you go. Send it to me. I want to see that because I I know that's not true. So whatever. It's, it's, Real quick. Now, well, how I many do you want to go? Not really. Fuck it. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's that's because like that's a whole conversation by itself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> this has been another Meyer Angry Chronicles, uh, Volume Two and shit. Uh, anytime he wears his tie too tight, he gets upset. Hater. It's a uh, episode so, I can point you into the direction of. Got it. He has on a sweater and a tie, mm-hmm. and I promise you, you gonna be like, "Hell, he was angry in that so episode." So that's two episodes out of like 50, 60 uh, episodes that we've done. Those. I just wanna go bring those up. And then I was just saying, anytime you wear your tie too whatever, tight, whatever. Anytime that you come with a tired snapback that is struggling to snap your. Forehead in, really not, and a tired, whack Michigan shirt, go green, Michigan slappy over here, and and also in that other episode where he has on a sweater, it's called the angry V neck sweater. It's called the angry sweater episode. Either or, you're gonna also see by haters anonymous the same fuzzy hairline. And you know what? It's so funny because I spoke about you're going to grab see. a do rag before you're gonna see. the episode, and now he's bringing it out. You're okay? going to see the speaker wire chops on the oh, side of his face. And I talked about the chops too. I was going to take those off, and then now he's Ain't bringing it up. Shit, dog. I'm just fucking with yeah, you, know? right? <laughs> yo, yo, even though he got the, the I'm coldest. I'm fucking with you, dog. <laughs> Come on, man. All right, man. We out. Peace. <laughs>